Stitching. No, stitching has got nothing to do with a sewing machine, even though the name stitching comes from it. It is all about merging a series of pictures taken side by side into one image. This is especially useful if the picture is going to be printed at a very large size. If you ever need your picture to fill a complete wall in an office building, remember this video. If your camera's angle of view is not wide enough, stitching two images effectively doubles the viewing angle. And does that without the typical wide angle distortions. You can even create 360 degrees panoramic pictures or spherical images. But we're going to focus on the stitching of bigger size images and wider angle images. In Lightroom it is as easy as selecting the set of images in the library view and selecting merge, merge panorama. Lightroom will align the images and show you a preview. Once you click OK, the images are merged in, into a new file. The original files of course are still available. Stitching is also used to create wide angle images with a very small depth of field. This is done by stitching a series of pictures shot with a telephoto lens into one picture. After that you should check how many images you need to stitch to create the picture you want. Then shoot the images you need with enough overlap to make stitching possible. It's very hard to fill in gaps between the stitched images. The best way to make a set of images with the least or no distortion is done by setting up the view camera and shifting the rear panel from left to right and, if needed, from top to bottom. Of course, the lens you use has to have an image circle that allows this movement. Photoshop and Photoshop Lightroom are very capable tools for stitching. Images you shoot with parallel camera movement of just the rear panel can be stitched with very little editing. It saves you time and possibly even reshoots.